I don't know if this is even working because it told me it wasn't going to work. I don't know. Let me see. Can I hear myself? So I like Jeffrey Donovan. I thought they were in the backwards order. I thought this morning on my local station said that organized crime was coming on at 8 o'clock. And I was like, oh, they're in backwards order. That's Jeffrey Donovan, though. But it's supposed to be crossovers. Let me see. Am I hearable? Why are they saying... So they started in the Ukraine. He's in the Ukraine? This kid's running with blood on her head. And she jumped in front of a car. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh my God, what a horrible person. I, I've never heard of such a horrible person as myself. I just felt like talking. I thought I was going to start doing this like 45 minutes ago. But I was trying to edit together the trailer reaction I did earlier. Which I did this morning. And it took me till two hours ago to edit it together. And it took me till now to upload it. Are we in New York? Well, she's going to be dead by the time he, he gets back down to her, right? Oh, okay. No, she's still talking. No, don't leave her. Yes, you are. Don't. Don't leave her for one second. Or somebody's going to come out and shoot her in the face. What did she tell you? And it's going to be on your head for life. Watch. She's going to get murdered right now. What did I say? What did I say? I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. Look, you left her and now she's dead. And you carry that into the afterlife. Dumbass. There's no reason to get up and tell them to move except to let her get shot in the face. <sighs> Come on, man. Oh no, shaky cam. I'm gonna throw up. See, I, I tried watching last season of Law and Order because of Jeffrey Donovan, because I didn't like the way Law and Order ended. I like Jeremy Sisto fine. Anthony Anderson's there, but Law and Order by itself. Okay, this says Special Victims Unit. Organized Crime. Oh my god, it says all three. <gasps> what? What is happening? I don't know why I don't have chats anymore. <laughs> I guess they don't let me. I don't know why they don't come up. He's taller than you, so he's got it. Special guest stars. Well, how could we have had all three? Kelly Giddish. What is the deal with Kelly Giddish? Because they said they let her go. And I really like her. And I'm not one to like <laughs> girl actresses or, you know, girl actors. But I like her. So I don't know what happened. They said it wasn't her consent or whatever to leave. But, so this is just one big three-hour episode then. Is that what they're leading me to believe? Bo Nap. Who's Bo Nap? I know who Bo Nap is. Is Bo Nap related to, um... No, that's the dumbest guy. Is he related to Noah Snap? <laughs> they just rhyme. This is the same last name. Yeah, you tried and failed by being a doofus. That's a nice way to spell JC. J A C I. Yeah, he looks better like this instead of in stupid suits. I don't know what the difference has always been between Law and Order and Law and Order SVU and why SVU is so much better. I obviously they have different um, writers and stuff. Probably most of the time, but sometimes I probably don't, so I don't get it. Just 
because if you watch, say you watch the early ones, it's a little bit different, of course, like the early SVUs. Is that his daughter and I didn't know before? Did he have a daughter last year? I think I saw the same, I saw the same episode like four times. And yesterday I was watching Chicago Med. And I saw a couple, the, one of those three times, but I never saw the season finale from last year. So I was totally lost at the beginning of, at, at yesterday's episode. And this one, I saw the same Law and Order from last season four times, where if, I know Jack Noseworthy was in it. And it was like rich gay guys were like, there was a bad one and he was drugging, you know, um, younger guys who were around them and stuff and I guess it was kind of like a serial killer which I was thinking about it yesterday thinking about how I saw that one like four times and I'm like how is that not SVU though you know what I'm saying but of course he was one of these like people who's a liberal but then you know I don't know this guy. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Frank. It's a hell of a thing to see. A hell of a thing to see? He did it. If he stayed with her, like she said, she'd be alive right now. Because she would have been protected. Before I could even react to Sean. Yeah. Because you're an idiot. But look. I was kind of like them a little bit in things. But like I said, that second season of Fargo. I mean, he was so amazing. I mean, that whole cast was amazing. Kirsten Dunn, Steven. You know, they're just all... That's like one of the best seasons of television ever. Fargo season two. Him and Kirsten Dunst were like freaking... I don't even know what you want to call it. Like... So what, Anthony Anderson's gone? And this is a new partner or something? Am I confused? Did something happen? Did I miss another? I might have missed, like, <laughs> maybe it was a bad week for me and I missed all the season finales last year. But I'd been home this whole summer with the TV on. That's how I ended up seeing that one four times. Yes. I'm Detective Shaw. This is Detective Cosgrove. So this is about You found my niece? Huh? Oh, she did. Because he walked away to go, you know, direct traffic. My stomach. This, the growls are coming out of the fat over here. Which makes no sense to me. Like, I'm like, how? I was like, it sounded like there was an alien. And I was like, why is there an alien? And I was like, no, that's my stomach. I'm like, no, it's not my stomach because my stomach's over here. It's like, the noise is coming out of this fat. Right back here. You weren't there, lady. He did let it happen, but you weren't there. What's he making a face for? Whatever, okay. There's something so wrong with the show. Party. Okay, so here's a commercial. What was I doing? I was doing a lot of things. And there's a lot going on in the world, and the world's a dumb, dumb place. But, you know, can I... Can I, okay, can I edit videos, or not edit videos, but can I put the cards and the end screen on in a different tab while I'm doing a live stream? Or will that cause, like, a rip in the space-time continuum? Honestly, if it did, I would do it. Hmm. I was supposed to charge my phone all day and I'm just remembering now. My brain doesn't work anymore. It's totally brain fog all the time. I like, this is my new thing. I fall asleep at 10 o'clock. I just get tired or sometimes, a lot of times I feel winded. Okay. There's been like the last few days, unbeknownst to me, they were humid. I, every day I watch the weather. I didn't think it was going to be humid. So I, um. I end up feeling like, okay, I need to, I'm exhausted, and I need to lay down. 10 o'clock, thinking I'm just going to lay down for a minute, right? 
I wake up 2 o'clock in the morning. This is happening. And then, because I got to go pee bed. So I go pee, I come back, and then I'm like, well, to make up for lost times, I probably would have wa been watching YouTube videos. So let me watch some YouTube videos. So maybe I'm up for a couple hours, half in and out, and then I um I fall asleep again. So say I fall asleep somewhere between 3 or 4 o'clock, right? Then I wake up. The Today Show's on. I think, oh, it must be like 7 o'clock. No, it's like 5 to 9. So I'm falling asleep at 10, waking up at 2. That's four hours, right? Then I got to take the pee break, which wakes me up. Then I fall asleep from like 4 o'clock to, you know, sometime after 7. That's like nine hours. I've been sleeping like nine hours a day. Then I get up, right? Sometimes I go run an errand. Like around, I try to leave, I really, if I'm doing anything, I try to leave before 10 because I hate not leaving the house before 10 o'clock. I, you know what I mean? So, um, even if, you know, I don't really have anything to do, I just, I, I mean, the only thing that kept me in the house every day was the pandemic. Before that, it was very, very rare for me to stay in the house all day unless I was sick, like physically sick, I can't leave. Or, or, uh, it was like we were practically locked down because of too much snow and the streets weren't, you know, I'd still go out and shovel though, you know what I mean? But I'm talking about leave and go somewhere. I, so up until the pandemic, it was extremely rare for me to stay in the house for a complete day. So, um, so I left, so I'll leave. This has been going on for like, I don't know how long, off and on. The last couple months where I'm just exhausted, tired. I'll leave. I'll come back. Say I go to the grocery store and I come back by 11 thinking I'm going to have the whole rest of the day. I come home 11. I'm exhausted. Everything hurts. Okay. My legs hurt. Everything. I have to lie down flat to try to recuperate. Now, what I used to do in the old days, if I did a lot of stuff in the morning or if my legs hurt from walking really far or something like my feet hurt or whatever, I would lay down for like half an hour flat and then it would be like I started all over again thing is I'm never fresh as a daisy anymore when I wake up in the morning after I do one of these respites but now these respites I can sit here I can lie down say okay I'm gonna do this so that I can my back can stop hurting my legs three hours later everything still hurts that's been going on I think it's a 2022 thing you know where once I go for a walk once I do things I come back and it's like everything hurts and the thing that gets me is like sometimes I'll go walk far and I'll carry like a bag or something you know on my shoulder and I won't really have any heavy stuff in it but it'll be on my shoulder and I come home and hours later I, I try to do the resting thing I get up and go to the bathroom or something and everything hurts including my shoulders how are both shoulders gonna hurt if I had one bag that wasn't heavy you know, so that's why I feel like I think I ran out of chi a while back. And now I'm just like, when I get tired, everything is tired. And what's bothering me now, what's upsetting me now since the summer, and I thought it was because of the heat. Yeah, it was kind of humid today in the last couple of days. So maybe a little bit of that, but there were a couple of days where there was no humidity and it got a little bit colder overnight. And I still wasn't alert. So I don't know what's going on. But I, like yesterday, I almost slept the whole day. I really felt like, no, I have to go. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning or something. I was like, I have to go back to sleep. My brain is not working. I need to sleep. Like, my, my computer needed to power down. This is unheard of for me. Yeah, I've been deteriorating. And it's like I said, okay, I get tired. My body gets tired. I think it gets tired. When you're heavy, I think your legs and feet and stuff get tired from carrying around all that weight. But like I said, my shoulders get tired. My shoulders aren't carrying my feet. I mean, my all the weight of my body. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I don't understand. It's progressing. I think there's a lot going on in the world. Um, I think that I get affected by... The environment, not like safe, the movie safe exactly, not like by chemicals too much and stuff, but by 
atmospheric pressure and stuff like that and some kind of readings that I didn't know about. Now they're talking about solar flares and everything else. I'm like, what if this is the thing that's been affecting me for years and I didn't know what it was? Because it seems so random. You know? Like, I know I get the extreme weather bothers me, especially the day it changes from really hot and humid to really cold and dry. Like, that'll just, I'll feel like I'm gonna, like I'm kindling that you can just snap. Salt water. Chelsea Pierce, five blocks from everything. Uh, okay. It, but I mean, I'm not a genius. I'm not a smart person. Like I said, I'm not creative. But sometimes you watch things, and they're either critically acclaimed or they're supposed to be good. And you know, people get paid a lot of money, and they, they write some dialogue, or they write some stuff that's so dumb. That it's like, you must think the person watching it is the dumbest person in the world. And I'm just like, why can't you do that? Why can't you write a script? Why can't you write something? If you're sitting here and you're watching this stuff, and it's like... I mean, when I was growing up, whether you like things or not, you got a feeling the people who were writing things were smarter than you or they knew about the subject matter or they did some research or something. But sometimes you're sitting there and you're just like, are you kidding? So is Anthony Anderson just not on this now? How do I not hear this though? I watch extra. I don't watch it. I'm usually doing something else, but it's on in the background all the time. I'm constantly not hearing things, not knowing about stuff when it happens, and I'm like, how? I mean, when I was a kid, I watched Entertainment Tonight. That's how I started to know famous people's birthdays, because they would tell you every day whose birthday it was. For years, they would do this, so I would remember people's birthdays year to year to year. This was when Mary Hart, and even before John Tesh, there was a guy before John Tesh, So I've always watched entertainment news my whole life. Like I said, it's on in the background. I'm on Twitter. I swear Twitter made us all stupid because without trying, you don't get all the news anymore. You don't know what's going on anymore. You would literally have to just look up stuff all day to get the news now. Where in the old days, you just had to put on like two... You had to watch the news from 6 o'clock to 7.30 or something and you would get your local news... The national news, and like I said, entertainment news. And you were done. You didn't need to be on, watch CNN all day or. I like this painting in the back. I'm not a big art person, especially newer stuff. I like old stuff. Stuff that looks Renaissance y, Baroque but when I lived in New York, and or if, you know, if we had to go to, I, why would I have to go to a museum anyway? Like if I went to the Guggenheim or whatever, I was like, why? What am I looking at? Lessie is a Delaware LLC, which is owned by a Chechen corporation, which is owned by a series of Russian limited partnerships. Okay. The only person on the lease is a 73-year-old car salesman from Grozny, which is the capital of Chechnya, which is something I just found out. So we're yeah, yeah you shouldn't know that. Sounds like that to me. I mean, she ran away from home. My thinking. Somebody in her neighborhood swept her up. Is this going to be Eastern Promises? No. The ME found clear signs of repeated sexual trauma. So, how can I help? Wondering if you know anybody who picks out young girls to rich Eastern Europeans on super yachts. Well, not that matches those particulars, but your instincts are right. And lots of sex workers tend to end up on those yachts. Yeah, it seems like nothing good happens when you put a bunch of rich guys on a big boat. Yeah. So, have you been That was a stupid line. I don't know this guy. Did the shirt's getting on my nerves? Like the collar on her shirt? We put up our own cameras down there near the pier. We also have some in the parking area. I will have this long security footage for you. It feels like it's too complicated to wear. She she's not a complicated type of a person. I mean this character. Thirty seconds later. See my stomach keeps making that noise and it's right near the microphone. My fat is right like it's my fat's trying to sing or try out or do some karaoke. 
But it's not coming from my butt, and it's not coming from my stomach. It's literally coming from back here. What the hell is back here? Because it's not, I'm not saying it's my, you know, spleen or liver or any of those guys. It's like right here where the fat is. I guess the people who write for these shows are younger than me now. Way younger. So when I keep complaining that things aren't like they used to. I told you the stomach is just making noise like it's an animal. I guess they are dumber than me where the people who were older than me were smarter than me. <laughs> they just know how to write and they took somebody taught them. But like I said, I'm not creative. So I pick on people, but I admit that I can't do it either. Now I'm just going to wonder about Anthony Anderson. Quiet, I just come at it from a different angle. What are they talking about? Mark Sharanko, yeah, I'm Mark just wasting days here. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's very... The way I've been the last... God, for a few months now, I've just mm -hmm. been... It's beyond just trying to get through the day. It's like really, I've spent so much time. Like if you add up all the hours where I'm either asleep or I feel brain dead, it's most of the time. And like, I can't even say I've had hours in the last few weeks where I actually felt alert. And I don't know why. I don't think I'm dehydrated. It's like keep peeing. So I don't think that's it. It just maybe too many things happen, too many roadblocks, too many dead ends. So my brain just doesn't know what to think about anymore. Or maybe there's really something going on that affects those of us who are sensitive to it. You know? This guy has a horrible face and a great face at the same time. I don't know. Who. I feel like this is the problem like there's my generation who cares about stuff hey she's 15 and, and you're talking to people whether they're criminals or not who just don't have the same like people my age and I don't think it was strictly American there, there was a sense and I think probably had to do with going to church whether the church was right or wrong people checked themselves more people cared about their behavior they cared about right and wrong so there was a communal attitude about how to behave there were standards of behavior standards of empathy and compassion you're supposed to have for your fellow man and I think don't exist so when you talk to someone like he's saying she's 15 she's 15 yeah you got all these people on the internet who talk about all this woke stuff but in the end they, they have more indifference So it's the organized crime thing. Yeah, I would really love to see Jeffrey Donovan and Chris Maloney together all the time. Did I say Chris? Does he go by Chris or is it just Christopher? I'm trying to remember, does he ever go by Chris? Does he? I don't remember, and I liked him since forever, too. 
See? Old age. Okay, so I've talked enough. I'm gonna go do something else. I think I'm gonna come back and play the run. I don't actually play tennis. Looks like it's stopping anyway. Mm -hmm. Whatever. But your mana does. When I was diagnosed with COPD, I 